So the Final Fantasy 16 pre-launch event is currently happening and I wanted to just make a video talking about the opening producer's keynote which featured Yoshi P and Michael Christopher Koji Fox because there's some cool details that they dropped in that opening segment in regards to the game's development and some other teams that actually helped create the game. And then secondly, we're gonna talk a little bit about the combat panel which had Maximilian Dude, Suzuki, and Takai and they were talking all about combat and showing off one of the really cool hunts in the game on the hardest difficulty. So starting off first, they did confirm that the demo is real, it's legit, and it's hitting tomorrow, June 12th. So by the time this video goes up and people see it, the demo will already be out, which is really cool. The demo is two hours long. It's the opening of the game, so it's the prologue. It's going to be cutscene heavy, and that's because they're just trying to set up a lot of the story stuff ahead of time uh, before people really get engaged with the combat aspects of the game's demo. Your save data, of course, will transfer over to the main full game, which is really great. But what's cool here is that they announced that after you finish that demo, you will unlock a special battle demo, which will be the section of the game where Clive, Sid, and Torgal are storming the Waluder castle looking for Benedicta. You know, the footage that was really, really dark <laughs> that people complained about. It will be that section of the game and you will be using a high powered leveled up Clive, a Clive that will have iconic abilities from way later in the game. And you can play that over and over and over again. There will be no save data from that specific battle demo that will transfer over, but you can test out that combat as much as you want. So that is really, really exciting. And that should hopefully kind of tide people over before the full game actually comes out. Now, what's really interesting here, that cool bit of information that they revealed for the first time today was that Platinum Games and the Kingdom Hearts development teams both had a hand in helping develop Final Fantasy 16. Unfortunately, they couldn't go into detail on what aspects they designed. But it was really cool to know that Platinum Games, which is a developer that has a really rich pedigree for action games, especially making uh, action games that are super stylish and always play really well and responsive, had a hand in developing certain sections of 16. And then you look at the Kingdom Hearts team, which has been doing action-based combat since the first Kingdom Hearts came out on PlayStation 2, you know, a millennia ago. <laughs> and the Kingdom Hearts games have some really fun combat. Uh, the like attraction modes in Kingdom Hearts 3 in particular were always really cool to, to pull off. And then you've got your AI team behind you. And they were really kind of the pioneers for Square Enix when you really think about it, when it came to incorporating real-time action combat into their game. So uh, they went off and they did their thing and developed certain sections of the game and presented it to Yoshi P and CBU3. And they were like, okay, we'll take it from here. So it's gonna be really cool to see afterwards, once the game comes out, what aspects they really were heavily involved in. And I wonder if it's going to be one of those things where as we play the game, we can kind of, you know, see and feel like, oh, this feels like something Platinum would have done, or this feels like something the Kingdom Hearts team would have done. So that's a really cool bit of information that uh, was really surprising to me. And then after that, they had the combat panel again that had Takai and Suzuki, Michael Christopher Koji Fox, as well as Maximilian Dude and a translator. Her name was Emma. And uh, it was really cool to see Max there on stage. I'm a big fan of his, but to see the developers also kind of fan girl <laughs> over Max and how they also watched his videos and they valued his input was really cool and they showed off a hunt in the game now what's really cool about the hunts and I didn't know this this might have been information that maybe I missed but it's not a situation where you accept a hunt and then you warp to that point on the map where the monster is and you fight it once you accept the hunt you warp to the general area of where the monster is at but you still have to hunt the target down yourself which is super cool it's not just like oh here's the monster go fight it. it's like no you actively have to search out this monster to fight it and take it out which I think a lot of people will really appreciate and the monster that they fought was called Atlas which is this iron giant looking guy that was insanely difficult and they did it on the hardest difficulty possible which was the S rank Max nearly finished it <laughs> but got taken out at the very end so afterwards they had Ryota Suzuki take over and uh, he was able to beat Atlas and it was really interesting to see the different play styles between Max and Ryota and how they played. Max was very in your face, doing some parries, and uh, Ryota Suzuki was very much defensive 
counters, parries. So it's really cool to see how different this game can actually play depending on the person. And speaking on some of these iconic abilities, once you've mastered a certain ability, you can start mixing iconic attacks. So if you look at the Titan tree, for example, you've got your two Titan attacks. You can swap one of those out for a Rama attack and you can kind of create your own really cool hybrid classes, which I think is something that a lot of people will get a kick out of. That's gonna keep combat feeling fun and fresh. And trying to come up with different combinations of what could work best on certain enemies is, you know, something that is heavily Final Fantasy. That's something that you've been doing since the original game. Finding an enemy's weakness, finding what materia or spells work best for each character on each boss. So that's just inherently Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's really cool and exciting. And it's nuts to think that this game is almost out. I've been covering Final Fantasy 16 since early last year. I think ever since they had their first really big info dump, I've been covering the game, which is nowhere near as long as some content creators. I know there are people who've been covering this game for way longer than me, but it's been quite the journey with Final Fantasy 16 and it always felt like one of those games that was just never going to come out. <laughs> like it was just slightly out of reach. And now the demo is coming out tomorrow and the game is less than two weeks away. And I really just cannot wait to sit down, play that demo and then play the full game when it actually releases. This is nuts. <laughs> this is really cool. So I'm genuinely very, very excited. But I just wanted to make a quick video talking about those aspects of the pre-launch event because they were really interesting to me. Having other developers come in and actually like smooth things over and work on combat is really awesome and I hope that happens later down in the future with Square Enix and more Final Fantasy games. But I am Curious Kodoroi. That is the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you guys excited to finally play the demo and get your hands on a Torgo plushie? Which yes, I didn't mention that, <laughs> but you can now pre-order adult Torgo and puppy Torgo in plushie form, which is great. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another. Yeah.